Good morning, everyone. Myself, Murli Reddy. In this video, we are going to discuss about Linux basic commands part four. Okay, let's see the demo. First one is like uh, who, who am I command? Let's see what is who, who am I command? See, if you use the who command, it will be display who has uh, logged in this server. Okay, initially when I connected with uh, this user, I have connected through EC2 in user, right? That user, it will be displayed. Okay, who command means it will be display who has connected initially the particular user, particular server. Initially, I have connected with EC2 in user, EC2 in user. That's why it is displaying here. And also it is displaying uh, when it was logged in. And uh, this here it is also showing the timing. And here this is the public API of that particular my system. Okay. Where, uh, where we are connecting from, it will be displayed that particular public API. Okay. Fine. Next one is you can also give who iPhone A also. If you give the who iPhone A, it means it will display all the users logged in. Finally, here if you observe, this is our user. Okay, got it right? Who means? Who has logged in initially that particular server? Here it will be displayed. Next one is who am I? Who am I? It will be displayed current user. Current which user you have connected. You have connected currently root user, right? It will be displayed. For example, I'm going to uh, ECT user. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to here. One second, sudo. Let's you is you type and user okay now i i will be currently i'm in uh, which user is you type in to uh, is you type in user right now i'm giving here who am i if you observe here if you if you observe here it will be display is you type in user it means currently which user you are in when you use the who am i command it will be display which user you are in currently i'm in user is you type in user now I'm switching to root user. Let's see. Currently I'm in root user, right? Now here I'm using who am I? It will be display currently root user. What is right? Who am I? It will be display the particular where you are currently, which user you are in currently, it will be display. Next one, duplicate command. What is the uses of duplicate command? If you want to download anything from internet, either tar file, zip file, anything, you can use the duplicate command. Example earlier we saw curl command, right? Same thing we can see we can download through duplicate command. So I'm going to Google and uh, type it Tomcat download. Here go to the first link and uh, we can download the tar file or zip file. I'm downloading tar file. Right click, copy link address just here, duplicate and give the right click. Right click, if you give the right click, what will happen? Whatever you copied from here, right link address, it will be paste here. Okay, just enter. When you see here, it is connected, we are getting the 200 response. It means whatever you have provided this URL, perfect. If you get the 200 response, okay? Once you get the 200 response, it means the particular URL correct, it will be downloaded. If you give the LL command, you can able to see here, it is downloaded, correct? In case I'm giving the wrong uh, uh, URL, okay? Example, I'm giving just uh, dot, dot, just enter. If you observe here, we are getting 404. 404 not found means this particular URL is not there. That is the reason you are getting 404. But it right? If it is everything is fine, you will get 200. If, a, if the particular URL is not available, this particular URL is not available, you will get the 404. Remember simple word, duplicate command is used to download anything from internet, either tar file, zip file, anything. You can use the duplicate command. Duplicate command we can use frequently. Okay, fine. Next one, grep command. Grep command, if you want to see the particular file or uh, inside the, we have a multiple files if you want to search it, if you, uh, if you want to check that content of the particular file, okay? If you want to grep that particular file, you can use the grep command. Example, uh, earlier we saw, right, I'm using history command, okay? Here we are seeing lot of commands, right? What I'm going to do, I, I want to uh, grep only I want to grab only PW command. Where I am using the command, right? I want to grab it history. Grab PW. If you observe here, grab command, it will grab the particular commands or file content or anything. Okay. You can use grab command. If you observe here, history command, and I give the pipeline symbol and give the grab PW. If you observe 
we have a total 42 history command. In this particular 40, 42 history command, we use 12 line and 15th line two times we used. We can able to grab like this. Okay. What is it? Grab command is used to grab the particular file or content or particular command. You can use this one. Fine. Next one, last command. Sorry, not last, three command. What is the uses of three command? Let's see. So you can use three command. If you give the three command, it is showing like command not found. It means the particular command is not available in this particular server. If you want to install uh, any command, you can use uh, m install command. See? We can discuss more on this uh, m, m, uh, m command. Okay. m install tree iphone by just enter. It is installing. Okay. If you observe here, it is installed. Fine. Now I'm going to opt directory. Now I'm using three command space dot. Dot means current directory. What is the uses of three command? Three command uses the main uses of three command is it will display the structure. Okay. Example, if you see here, we have two directories. When you give the three dot inside the AWS directory, what are the files is available, directories available, everything will be displayed as a structure when you use the three command. Okay. Three command very more useful when you are doing real time. The reason is we have we have a own folder. You want to see that particular folder subdirectory subfile. You using this three command, you can able to identify easily exactly. See if you observe here inside the AWS directory, we have a multiple folders or files where exactly you can identify easily. Okay, fine, right? But some of the servers it won't be there. The particular three command you have to install using m install three iphone by. Fine. Next one is last command. What is the use of last command? Let's see. I'm going to clear the uh, terminal. Last. If you use the last command, it will be list display the who has logged in, when it was logged in, currently who, who is available in this particular server. If you observe here, still logged in. I am still this particular server. And also recently we have logged in long back and that's where it is showing everything. Okay. Sometimes, for example, uh, one of my team members is there. He logged in the server. He did some mistake. Okay. He deleted some files or directories. But he is saying like, no, I haven't logged in the particular server at, at, at the time. Okay. We can come here and we can verify whether he is logged in this particular server or not. So be careful. Even if you did that, done the mistake in uh, your project, don't say I haven't because you can identify easily here. Okay. Using last command. If you observe here, currently I am logged inside. That is the reason it is still logged in. And uh, earlier we rebooted the server. That's why it is showing reboot when it was reboot. And also here, if you observe here, 625 I have logged in and 626 I have logged out. Everything will be displayed here with the timing also. Okay, fine. Next one. What is the uses of shutdown command? Shutdown command is used to shut down your system. For example, in Windows, we can uh, go to here. Uh, click this one, we can shut down, right? Same thing for Linux also. If you want to shut down, you can use this shutdown command. But be careful in real time, don't do this shutdown command. If you do shutdown command, what will happen? This server will be stopped until unless it is required, use this command. Otherwise, don't use. Okay, fine. Next one is reboot command. Reboot command means if you want to reboot the, your server, you can use a reboot command. Remember, this reboot command majorly used for uh, when we will be, when we will be used, for example, you are server is there, you are not able to connect properly, but uh, the server is not hung somewhere. At that time, we will be used a reboot command. Okay, you can reboot through command line also, and also we have a easy to write in go to here. We have instance, we have option reboot also. You can use reboot command or come to the AWS console and we can do it. For example, I am doing here reboot. Let's see if you if you click the reboot command, what will happen? It will be disconnected because the reason is it is a rebooting, right? That is the reason it is disconnected. If you observe here, when you click the reboot command, here it is went to inactive mode. It means the particular server is not able to access because it is going to reboot. Got it right? I hope you understand that. Once it will be back, it, will, it may take a little bit time to come back. Okay. I hope you understand. Are there any questions? Fine. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out uh, me or comment. I will try to respond as soon as possible. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next video.